Okay, so this is a video for the new ECM retrofit blower motors. Um, this furnace here has been retrofitted. We've gone ahead and pulled the old PSC motor, power star capacitor motor, and replaced it with the new ECM retrofit motor. And this is a video about the uh, pros and cons for this new type of uh, motor. This uh, furnace here is twinned with the furnace to the left. These are two four-ton 100,000 BTU furnaces uh, paired together and work in tandem to uh, heat the main space in this uh, commercial structure. The furnace used to have a PSC motor. I already took uh, uh, recorded the data from the old motor and observed that the motor on heat mode pulled about 8 amps and then on continuous fan mode operation furnace uh, pulled roughly seven and a half amps. Now obviously you got to multiply that times two because we got these twin together and they're always working in tandem with one another. Because this is a commercial facility we have to continuously run the fan during occupied mode. When the building's occupied we got to run the blowers to purge fresh air into the building. So during the day these blowers are always on. And as I said before, the blowers pulled about 7.5 amps on continuous fan mode and 8 amps on heating mode. So what I've done now is installed the new ECM motors. And um, I currently have the thermostat set to fan. And now let's go ahead and see how much power the uh, furnace is pulling on continuous fan mode. There's my amp meter. So you can see there that now on continuous fan mode, we're pulling between 0.7 and 0.8 amps. So that's roughly a 90% reduction in the overall energy consumption of the uh, furnace under that particular mode, under continuous fan mode. Now what I'm going to do is start at the furnaces and put them in the heat. And let's see what they consume on, on the heat setting. Let's go back around this way to our thermostat. Let's put this thermostat over to heat. Okay, I can hear the draft inducer motors just kicked on. Burners are in the process of firing. There they go. We'll wait another 15 seconds. And then see what they pull. Alright, let's go ahead and check. just came on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call it that 6.7 amps. So I'm gonna go, go back to the thermostat now. We're gonna bring this back over to uh, turn our burners off. Sort of system off. Okay, now our heating cycle's off. All right, draft inducer motors just turned off. So what can we take from our observations here? What kind of uh, conclusions can we draw from 
the data that we've uh, gathered on this uh, on this retrofit. We know for a fact that during uh, the fan operation, that when this when this is in continuous fan operation, the ECM drive motors achieve a very very substantial reduction, a massive reduction in the uh, overall energy usage. Uh, comparatively, when this is in heat mode, uh, we only saved about one and a half amps at tops. Uh, it's a small reduction, it's, it's something, but it's obviously not that huge. So with that information, you know, there's a number of things we can, uh, we, you know, what can we take away from that? I'd say that, let's say I had a commercial, or I had a commercial client, a customer who's going to have to have a continuous fan mode during while their commercial building is occupied. I could see then under those circumstances that a ECM drive motor uh, could achieve a very healthy reduction for them. Their daily you know, energy consumption will substantially go down. And that sounds like a, something that's worthwhile selling to a commercial client. On the other hand, if I had a residential customer, you know, some, for a person who generally only runs their furnace during the uh, winter, during the heating cycle, well, we know that during the heating cycle, it, it only achieves a very small reduction. So I would say for commercial customers, this is definitely a product that's worth uh, considering. On the other hand, for residential clients, you know, who are only running their heat during the winter, you know, maybe it's not that uh, uh, smart of an investment. Uh, maybe they should try investing into other things. So I hope that information is useful. And I want to give a shout out to Jeff over at Puget Sound Energy. I uh, appreciate you helping us uh, getting this, a grant to help incentivize this uh, retrofit. Uh, hope you guys have a great day and please stay safe.